Hey guys, this is Farmer 1414 with part three of the car update. So we got all the floor in. Um, took the bar that was in there out. Um, did some sanding. I gotta finish a little bit of sanding here and there. Um, what else? We got um, them done. We got all the trunk mostly done for the fuel cell. We got, um, let's see, we got some extra steel ready for, uh, doing some other work on it. We got the front piece that's going to go right here. Um, then we got this wiring we riveted down so it protects the radiator. We added them pieces right here, one on both sides for that, and we gotta put some on the top yet. Yeah. Um, we got our angle iron and all of our um, front um, uh, what's the piping that we cut down and then it's gonna hold our uh, hood down for that. We got this piece on to hold the radiator top on. It's not finished yet. We gotta do some more tacking and stuff. Um, on the bottom, as you can see on the radiator, we got some channeling that we uh, welded on to the bottom so we can hold the uh, radiator on. So, uh, since we put the hood scoop on, that's pretty sweet, um, and filled that in over there, it's made the hood very straight, so when we put our clips in, it does hold it down into shape, um, because it's pretty flat. So, once you put the front end and everything down, it looks pretty darn good once you got the clips in, um, so... If they wanted to cut the hole out, we wouldn't have had to have done this, but it just looks better. Um, once you put the clips in, the hood looks practically normal, so you just have to, don't have to worry about that. Um, got uh, mostly everything we on right here um, for the back. We still have to finish riveting here. We need our rivet gun because we're just using that and it isn't uh, powerful enough just by our arm strength to drive this uh, aluminum all the way down. So we got a few in but it's still gapped. So we got to finish that up. Um, as you can see the other car has it already. Um, so it just makes it look better. and. You don't have to see all the holes and stuff inside. So, but we might eventually pull the motor out. Um, it, everything is almost done. I mean, it, it's still got a long ways to go. We gotta shell the one door, throw the roll cage in. Um, we got some uh, really thin steel to help out on our rust spots on the doors and this big gash and all that. Um, so it'll, um, not be so bad. We gotta pop all that out there. Um, that, that'll take a while to get it perfected. Um, we gotta put the bumper on, that piece on. Uh, gotta get a new carb for it. Get our seats, new steering column, or steering assembly. Gotta switch our gas over. Um, get all of our gauges on, paint it, um, still got to put on our uh, uh, tubing for our clips on the back, uh, it's still kind of uh, goofy the way they used to have it, so it isn't as uh, good as they cut out a hole there and we had to fill that in, but we got to put the roof back on. Um, after we get the roll cage in. So I gotta clean it out. And I still got the old uh, uh, 
seatbelt. I think it takes forever. I, it took me forever just to try to get it out, and it's like a stripped bolt. We're probably going to plasma cut it out because it's so stiff in there. Um, so that's really all for part three. Um, yeah, there ain't too much left. Um, still got to get our rims and tire tires and all that stuff uh, so it's gonna need that um let me just got it on the jack stands or whatever right now um so that's really all we got work on the other cars to do still so that's gonna take some extra time and that is really all for part three i know i haven't done too much since the last video um but a lot of it's took her a long time. Like this floor, both sides probably takes a week because it's just, you have to keep cutting it down to size to make it fit. And it just, it's a pain in the butt. Um, and it just takes a lot of time because me and dad spent a whole day just to put one piece in. So that, that shows you how much time it takes to put the floor in because with that car, it already had the roll cage and the doors on and the roof, and it we had to climb in and out of the car to put the floor in. So luckily, the doors are off, the roof's off, and the old part of the roll cage was just like a little thing that went across. Luckily, we don't have that in there, so it's way easy to put stuff in. Um, that's kind of the advantage to this. We still got to put on all of our uh, thin aluminum, rivet it on, to cover all that up um and cover all our holes because it say there should not be any holes through the firewall um just for protection so i just have to fill them and we did take a few out so it'd be easier to do some other stuff um and that's really all uh we got to uh uh get some uh more steel for the rub rail on the other side in the roll cage I was gonna need a lot of work as you can see gotta figure out how to cut it down to get the other seat in there which probably won't be too hard I guess but we gotta get a whole bunch of extra tubing so we can connect it to the doors um, some extra um, strength I guess if you want to call it um, to protect the drivers um, and then we need tubing that goes to the front of the car to the frame and then the, the body and then to the back and stuff like that so that'll take a while we still got to get our uh, window or our um, like sun visor thing that goes across you can see they got one on the back and the front we still got to do that um, that's really all so yeah paint it uh, I'll get you a video a couple more videos probably Get you on uh, part four on um, another works, part five when it's almost done, practically done, and then the finished painted product. <laughs> it really ain't product, but anyways, this is part three. I'll get back to part four here next. So this is Farmer 1414 out.